Good morning. Today is April the 7th, and it is Wednesday morning. We are in Psalm chapter 94 today, and I want to give you a, a, um, a framework from which to listen to it today. In our culture, we are facing some times that we have never really had to face before as a nation, although we have thought we have. <laughs> I remember back when I was at Liberty, and Dr. Falwell would talk about Jimmy Carter and the doom he was leading the country into and, and all the dark days that uh, would follow if Jimmy Carter uh, remained president. And, and so he campaigned very heavily against him. And we thought things were dark and sinister back then. So every culture tends to think that America is on its way out. And it's possibly because uh, America has been on its way out for a long time. But we are certainly a lot closer to the precipice than ever before. So if that's true, how is the church supposed to respond? Are we supposed to be screaming and hollering all the time and pointing our fingers and, and then getting involved in militaristic type responses to protect our nation? Or are we to pull back and regather around our God and the trust in God and the gospel? Or is it a mixture of both? I certainly think that our faith in the Lord calls us to be civilly responsible. And because Christians took that as being a, um, a charge from God 250 years ago is why America was birthed in the first place. Uh, these men fought against the greatest empire on earth to build a new nation, but it was rooted in basic Judeo-Christian Judeo principles. But we've drifted so far. But I want to read this psalm to you and just listen to it, if you don't mind. And keep in mind uh, where we are today and what should be our response. O Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs. O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth. Render punishment to the proud. Lord, how long will the wicked, how long will the wicked triumph? They utter speech and speak insolent things. All the workers of iniquity boast in themselves. They break in pieces your people, O Lord and afflict your heritage. They slay the widow and the stranger, and they murder the fatherless. Yet they say, The Lord does not see, nor does the God of Jacob understand. Understand you senseless among the people, and you fools. When will you be wise? He who planted the ear, shall he not hear? He who formed the eye, shall he not see? He who instructs the nations, shall he not correct? He who teaches man knowledge, the Lord knows the thoughts of man that they are futile. Whatever we're facing in our country, whatever the days ahead hold for us, maybe there'll be a resurgence of, of uh, freedom and individual rights and, and there'll be a move away from socialism and government control of even our private decisions and Maybe there'll be an absurgence, uh, once again, of, of uh, free-spirited, open worship of God, even welcome in the marketplace. Or maybe it won't. We don't know. But what we do know is that our God is still on the throne, and we can trust him, and he will do what's right. It might not be in our lifetimes. It might be a generation from now, or this might be the end times. But none of that changes that we have the truth and we can trust in our Lord and there's a day coming when justice will be served and our Lord will reign. And let's by faith walk in that joy today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you that even though the, the unbelieving forces of the world tend to be growing in power and influence and control by the day, even to the fact that what we say from our pulpits or what we say on live stream or even our freedom to meet could all be infringed and uh, removed in the days ahead. Help us to have the faith and the strength and the obedience and the submission to you to be faithful to you to carry your message even when it, it is not received well. Even when it is responded to with hostility, may we be faithful to you and know that vengeance is yours. It's not ours. And we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, stay encouraged today. Stay true to the Lord. And let's speak truth whenever we have the opportunity. Remember, we've been called to be salt and light. 
Let's do that with a Christ-like attitude. Have a great day.